coin here. So I've been wanting to make a couple videos about running um, ether gazers on emulators, specifically about native controller support. I use two emulators and Moomoo Player X is one of them. And I just want to show you how to set it up and get it running on Moomoo players and short demonstration. So you click the options, then you go to control and you go to controller controls layout. Normally it's turned off, right? So you will need to turn it on, right? And if you have a Windows compatible controllers, which means a controller which supports X input, which is short for direct X input, right? Which is pretty much almost all controllers that you connect to your PC, right? Some controllers will need specific drivers or specific setups, such as some of the older PlayStation controllers, you might need to download and install specific software to install specific drivers to get those to support the X input. But any Xbox controllers and most of the generic controllers that you can buy for PC, they are X input controllers and they will work, right? When can direct controller pass through is working with a game what control what supports it? right this simply means that in the game you're able to directly configure your controls and use them directly so you don't need to assign the control buttons through the emulators you assign the control buttons in the game itself benefits of this is some games are very well integrated with controllers and give you much better control. The game will feel better. Like movements will feel better. Control, like camera controls will feel better. Button inputs will feel better when you actually use native control pass through if the game actually support it. So let's reset my button. <laughs> All right, you don't want to go in game and uh, you know, have. Uh, you know, that's not, 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 not so good. Not, not so good. Uh, make sure I save that. So a little brief on my particular controls, right? So my normal attack is X, skill one, A, skill two, B, skill three is Y. Evasion is right button. So that's right shoulder buttons. And ultimate is right trigger right team scale one is up arrow scheme to two down arrow lock on is left pressing down on the left analog stick right so join movements up and down you know nothing nothing on the other camera left and right that's obviously the right analog stick and movements left analog stick right I have, there's some other games out there which will have a more comprehensive. These are very, you know, basic, but very functional, very functional. They work well. The next thing you want to look at, and this is just a, this is a bonus here, is that you can configure the layout of the actual UI in the game. Let's, let's go in a full screen here to take a, a better look. All right. Normally, this is what it actually looks like. And well, if you play the game, you're very familiar with this. You can obviously configure them on your monitor when you're playing an emulators. Like it takes up so much space on a phone. It makes sense because you have a smaller phone screen. So you actually want to hit those, but you don't need them because you're not directly pressing any input on screen, you're directly interfacing with the buttons. And that's the thing, right? This is what makes it a lot more responsive. You're not translating touch into input. You're just directly inputting. But in here, you can make them, you can make them smaller, make them look more a fashionable, you know, more to how you want them to look. But make sure 
make sure you they don't overlap because some characters do have extra information what shows on their button like azure has little numbers here and you don't actually want it to overlap so make sure there's some space you know make sure you, their size move them transparency you know anything you want you know you could just move all the major elements and just adjust them to your liking all right and that's that's pretty much it here so let's do a quick demonstration what do I need as well? Let's use um use a simple character. All right. Simple and easy to use character. So one thing I want to make clear that the game is a lot more responsive with native controller input. Like a lot more it's it's a lot more fun to play the game with native controller input. Huh? Because you're not translating touch input, right? You're just directly inputting. So you're going to have much better response time when you're actually playing the game. Hmm? This feels so good. It feels very, very good to play. Straight up. That's it. All right. And while you're in game, you might already know that you can actually set them. So you can test them out and reset the buttons, how you want them, where you want them to be and how you want them to feel. And you can also turn on keyboard. So you already know about this. You can play with your keyboard. So same thing, direct key input, much better than using the emulator touch to translate. These are just directly inputting their commands into the game. So latency might not be a lot, but there is still latency and the game will actually feel a lot better with direct controller pass through. And that's it. Nice and easy. Very smooth, very smooth, very good. Guaranteed <laughs> to have more fun playing the game with uh, direct control pass through. All right, let me go back. So there are some te technical things you have to remember. So as long as, long as your, con your controller is connected, right? You're gonna have, it's gonna kind of work out of the box, except for one little problem with Moomoo. And we're gonna go back and demonstrate this. So in the controller config, if any control button is assigned in Mumu, right? Mumu is gonna pretty much intercept all of the control calls and pretty much none of it is gonna get to the game. So like this, so let's go back and we're gonna go back in the game. And this is seem to be a, a, a bug, maybe a bug with Mumu. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure. So you see the control, it's not working. See, I can't move, right? That is because these are here. So if I remove, remove, remove. All right. So the emulator is essentially intercepting. So this, see, it's it's intercepting all of the control calls which would normally go to the game just because i have one button assigned just any control that is assigned from the controller in the emulator controller config is going to cause that and when i remove all of them it works huh? simple similar this seems to be a problem with mumu so it's very important and see, it comes back and it deletes the pre-created one I had because nothing was assigned. Since it was blank and nothing was assigned here, it deletes it and put you back to the generic one. So this is so this is very important to remember. What do you do when this happens? You don't have to delete them one by one. Just click clear. Press save. Press save again. Right? You click save. 
exit, right? But every time you go into controller config, it will delete the one you create and put you back. And when you go back in the game, it doesn't work. So make sure you clear, save, 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 exit. It will be perfectly fine as long as you never go back into the menu. As long as you never go back in the menu, you will not have any problem whatsoever. But the moment you go back in the menu, right? you're gonna have a bit of a problem. Now, you might have noticed that there was a prompt just now. With native controller support, some prompt, what might interrupt you in the middle of the game, probably for story purpose and stuff like that, by simply pressing any button, such as the X button, it will progress those prompts. So you don't need to click on them. So that's also one of the benefits of the native controller support. I'm happy to. Native controller support is good, right? So if you want to be a pro gamer, right? You want to use native controller support. Or if you're a keyboard master, that works too, right? <laughs> that also works. But experience-wise, responsiveness, I recommend native controller support. And the end of this one. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.